Aloha, Hawaii Paradise Magic followers. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different this time for this uh, video. We're going to definitely do something a little different. <laughs> um, so when I saw this at our local grocery store um, just two days ago, um, I felt that uh, it would be uh, kind of nice to uh, share it with you all. Not sure if you've uh, ever experienced this or seen this before, uh, but initially looking at it, you kind of uh, know that Hawaii is uh, popular for its poke, uh, which is similar sounding to oke. Um, and <clears throat> in this case, let's see what we have. Can you guys guess? <clears throat> That's right, if you guessed it right. It's jellyfish poke. So this isn't popular as far as uh, availability. Um, it's I believe probably seasonal. I haven't seen this in a very long time. Uh, this species of jellyfish are not the venomous or stinging kind. Uh, I believe they might even be farm raised for consumption. <clears throat> and both overseas uh, and farms in the US also. So in any case, uh, this runs about $16 a pound. It's not necessarily cheap, uh, but if you consider having it go down to our Asian markets downtown, getting it in the raw form, having to work it, blanch it, uh, and then marinate it, uh, it's pretty good deal, <laughs> you know, overall, as far as getting all the ingredients for it. So it's a little bit better uh, obtaining it in its um, pre-made form uh, of poke. So, what else? $16 a pound. Typically, you have to blanch it. It originally appears gray in color, and it's a little bit more on the softer, squishy side, I guess if you could say. But after you blanch it, it becomes firmer, uh, a little bit more closer to translucent, uh, and develops a crunch crunchy texture. So uh, I'll let you guys hear the crunch and I'll do like a closed mouth and open mouth uh, crunch test so you guys can get an idea of that. So again, this is from our local grocery store just down the street. And in this recipe they add uh, julienne carrots and some slices quartered slices of cucumber. Typically with <clears throat> uh, jellyfish poke, the marinade is shoyu, which is soy sauce, vinegar, and also a little bit of sesame oil. Plus they add sesame seeds, as you can see. Uh, what else? Jellyfish as alone has no major flavor. It is high in protein though, and it's low in fat. So those are some bonuses. It will actually take on the flavor of whatever you marinate it with um, or add into a dish. So uh, there you go with that. <clears throat> and with that, let's take a bite. And this is with the uh, closed, closed bath. Mmm, <laughs> very good. <clears throat> and let's get a nice piece. Not so closed mouth. So 
So, as you guys can hear, uh, it's got that nice crunch. <clears throat> Not slimy. Takes on the flavor of the marinade. Mmm. Very good. <clears throat> Would also be very good over a small bowl of uh, hot rice, as we like to add pokey to our rice. Sometimes with furikake, but in this case, this has enough flavor, so you don't need to add the dried furikake seasoning. Um, but yeah, very fresh, $16 a pound. I don't believe this is uh, <clears throat> offered in the mainland. I, I know that the mainland has started a pretty big craze with Hawaiian poke, and um, Yeah, I just don't think that all the uh, restaurants offer jellyfish. So, I saw this, wanted to share it with you all. If you get the opportunity, it, coming across um, jellyfish poke, uh, go for it. It's really good. And with that, I'll wrap up and aloha.